All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing Miso Customs map light and dome light for this fifth gen 4Runner, going along with our build series we currently have on this 4Runner. We're gonna be converting this from a stock to a built out 4Runner. As you can see, we've already done some upgrades. We have the Alpha Rex headlights, black Rhino wheels, up top roof rack with the amber light bar. We have some rock sliders and we installed the stealth tail lights. And we'll link a description to all these products down below. If you want to see any of these videos, we'll link in a build series and you can go check out that playlist. This 4Runner already has the diode dynamic interior lighting kit that we've done on a past install. But today we're gonna to be switching those out with the Miso Customs to show you what the dual color is and what are the benefits of having that white and the red also on your interior of your car. All right, so let's go straight into this install. All right, so for this install, all you're gonna need is some sort of pry tool. I'll be using a flathead screwdriver today. So first we're gonna be starting with the map lights. So as you can see, these lights aren't the OEM. We already exchanged these out with the Dow Dynamics. So they already have a good light output. They're that LED color. We love the Dow Dynamics, but today we're just gonna be showcasing these MISO and how they can change from that white LED to the red to enhance your night vision and show you some perks of why you'd want that red as well as the white. All right, so starting off, you're just gonna get your pry tool and you're gonna wanna put it behind this first plastic piece and slide it in behind and then pry it out a little bit. This should come out super easy, just like that. And once you take that off, go in with your fingers and pull down the bulb that's facing straight down. Uh, we don't have the OEM ones, so they're a little bit easier to get out, but those OEM ones can be a little tricky. Sometimes it helps to get a little piece of tape and wrap it around, and then you have something to pull onto. But for these ones, it's nice and easy. You can just grab the bulb and pull straight down. And once you get these two side pieces off, you can just grab this middle piece, and it should just pull straight out nice and easy. All right, so once you take out all those tops and take the bulb out, you can pull out your new Miso Customs map light. And you're just going to want to line up this middle piece with the tabs and push it into place. It's all plug and play from here. You're gonna get this plug and plug it back into where the bulb is and then push this top piece right back into where that shell was. And you'll hear all these just click right into place. All right, and just like that, your map lights are done. The awesome thing about these Miso Customs is you can go from that white LED on one side and red on the other, or all white, or just all red. And I wanted to kind of explain why you might want this red on the interior of your car before we install the dome light. And the real reason is it just saves your night vision. So let's say you're out camping or it's dark and you're in your car and you just want to turn it on to see something, but you don't want to lose all your night vision while you're driving. These red lights are an awesome option. And another thing is these white LEDs are so bright. They're perfect. They light up the entire inside of your car, even with just the map lights in. It almost lights up the entire interior of this car. So that's the awesome part. You can have a really bright white light, or if you just need a little bit of light and you don't want to lose that night vision, you can turn them red and they still have a good output, but they're not hurting your eyes at night. These also have a super cool look to them compared to that old plastic white shell. They have a cool LED face to them, which I think completely changes the interior of your car and makes it look super neat. All right, so let's go install the dome lights. All right, so these dome lights might be even easier than doing the map lights. All you do is you just pop this plastic housing out, take out the one bulb, put in the new bulb, and put the housing back on. It's as easy as that. All right guys, and just like that, you've installed your Miso Customs map light and dome light. Uh, if you like these videos, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you wanna see next.